Hello, freak bitches. Click, boom, order. I ordered the silver black, bam, bam, bam. And then at the end, I had to get the fucking code for I, iTunes or mm-hmm. Apple. I woke my wife up in the middle of the night and said, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so I didn't have the code. She really did tell me to get the fuck out of here. It's like, are you fucking crazy waking me up at 12, 15 for think, some stupid fucking phone? There's going to be lines around the block at those Apple stores. It's it's crazy. It's like those sneaker lines when you see those people uh, they're, they're out to buy sneakers. Well, that's the Supreme lines now. Supreme's got a whole thing with Supreme. lines. They, they wait in line for three or four days now. and almost, For what? Almost weekly. For uh, what? I'll show you the shit. You're probably going to freak out when I show you what they're waiting Please for. Please do. Uh, yeah, shovels, bricks, with just the word Supreme written on it. Shovels and bricks. T shirts are the main thing. What is like, Supreme? Exactly. It's a brand. It's a streetwear brand. <clears throat> and people wait in line for bricks? I'll show you. It's <laughs> fucking kids today. <laughs> this is what happens when kids don't go outside. They don't play. Um, they don't play sports and they stay at home. They just play video games. It's Nancy Reagan's fault with the just say no. <laughs> These kids smoke dope. They see life for what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to wait in line for an hour for a fucking break. <laughs> Look just at this. Supreme the Crowbar. They sell a crowbar? Yeah, so the crowbar would just have, like, the name Supreme on it. Okay, well, who's using that? Uh, no one uses it. It's, like, uh, that's it's real. You have to look into the brand a little bit to understand it, but it's, it's sort of part of the joke almost. They're making parody of the craziness of it all by just throwing their brand name on stuff, and people are buying into it. Go but back to that other page. It. So, Supreme, like what the friends. top 10 non wearable Supreme products. Jesus go. Christ. They have fire extinguishers. Yeah. Nunchucks. But the, some of the clothes are cool. They have nunchucks. I mean, it's just, uh, depend, I mean, you got to be really into it. And some people are really into it. Like I said, they wait in line for days. A lot of them, though, are making money off of it because they can buy it for 40 or 50 bucks and flip it for 200 Well, I don't understand. Like, why is everybody buying this? It's like, limited, limited quantities of <laughs> whatnot. And, but what is the big deal about Supreme? I, I could, you have to look into the history. of There's some YouTube videos you can look up. Um, you sound like Eddie Bravo. Got to look well, into it. Hey, you have to look. <laughs> in, it's really hard to explain, and I like can't even. It takes me a half an hour to get into it. And I don't want to hijack the show oh, about Supreme yeah. right now. So, well, I just I did, never. I wasn't aware of this. I thought yeah. it was just like a T-shirt. That's where it starts. And you saw Josh Martin wears them. He spends a lot of money. on He's them. a fool. Well. He, he wears those goddamn Yeezys that you wear, too. Hey, I don't spend that much money on them. I get them for retail. I wouldn't buy them otherwise. <gasps> yeah, Josh Martin is, like, into every trendy thing. Yeah. Everything that comes out, he's, like, way ahead of the curve. That's the supreme uh, target world. audience. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Jesus Christ, Joey. I don't give a fuck. I didn't know about this. You buy a no. hammer. It says Supreme on it. The fact they sell nunchucks is hilarious. Supreme nunchucks. Did we wait online when we were kids Never, for anything? Never, not for anything. Like, last night I was watching something, the real uh, story about The Godfather. And they showed when they released The Godfather in New York. And there were lines. Yeah, for the movies. Was, for the movies. Yeah, I'm, at, I'm sure I waited in line to go see Star Wars or but something. But not three fucking days. No. I never camped out the night before. No, not for a hammer. What did they camp out for back then? They camped out for something. Really? I, I, don't, I never I had feel that. like the first I ever saw it was uh, iPhones, when the first iPhones were out. I remember going to the mall and going, what in the fuck am I seeing? And there was a giant line outside the Apple store. And this was like when one of the first iPhones was coming out. And I was like, why are you waiting for a phone? You don't have a phone already? Like, is this the only way to get the phone? It was, it was all so confusing. But it was a thing where people would wait in line, and then they would look at each other. And I remember when... <laughs> I remember when they were waiting in line for Harry Potter, when Harry Potter was coming out, and people were driving by, and they were yelling out, Dumbledore dies at the end! You know, they were, they were yelling out all these different spoilers. All I typed in was waiting in line for in Google, and the only things that come up are iPhone Supreme and iPhone 8, or gas. Yeah, gas. We gas waited in line for That's gas. right, in the 70s with the flag. Yeah. Red, green, or yellow flag. What was that? Uh, there was, like in the mid-70s, there was a gas shortage. So green meant that you got gas if you had an odd number, like if your license plate ended in odd. Yellow was even, and then red was, was shut down, bitch. Oh, yeah, that's you right. You remember that? They had the flag, yeah. 73 to 75, maybe, something like that. I don't know the exact dates. 